you know what I've been watching recently also? I've been watching Jerma's dollhouse stream. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm sure some of you do. Anybody seen the Jerma dollhouse stream? If you've seen the Jerma dollhouse stream, uh, put an emote in chat if you've seen the Jerma dollhouse stream. Come on, let's see it. All right, all right. We got some, we got some Jerma appreciators in here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The Jerma dollhouse stream is really cool. So for those who haven't heard about what the dollhouse is, uh, a famous uh, a live streamer, Jerma, uh, did a, a legally distinct version of The Sims. They built a fake house, like a cutout house, on a soundstage, like a set. And then for three days, he lived in the house while being controlled by chat. And... Um, it's amazing, okay? It's amazing. It's incredible, in fact. Um, it's beyond inspiring. Now, uh, I've seen tons of the dollhouse stream at various bits, but I've never done the full watch through. And I'm like four hours in to an eight hour edited version where they cut out the breaks. Um, it's amazing. It's genuinely incredible. Um, I've ne you've never heard of Jerma? Wow. Oh my God. That's surprising. Um, Jerma's like super famous at this point. Jerma985, yep. That's that's amazing. Did he die in a pool with no ladder? No, but they did lots of other things. Like, so the basic premise was that um, that chat votes on his actions in the house and he has to do the actions when chat tells him to do one, okay? And he has little bars on the bottom of the screen that fill up and empty. He's got like a bathroom bar. He's got a hygiene bar. He has a food bar, a fun bar, and an energy bar. And one of the rules is when the energy bar gets to zero, he has to lay down and go to sleep right then, wherever he is. He just lays down. Doesn't matter where he is. Bam! Passes out. And that's the end of the day in the game. And in the game, every day starts, he has to get up and get ready for work and then go to work. And then he makes money based on some rules that they have in place. And then the chat gets to spend the money on buying him things to put in his house. And of course, chat being incredibly, incredibly chaotic, never bought him anything useful basically ever. The one time they bought him something useful, they bought him a mattress and then they never let him sleep on the mattress. So far, he has never been able to actually go to sleep on the mattress. He just keeps passing out on the floor, which is really funny. They bought him a popcorn popper with no popcorn. Uh, they bought him a... The only chair that they bought him was a stool. Um, and... Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It's hor it's horrible and nightmarish and great. And obviously like it's not like a like a survival reality show. It's it's for fun. But like one such example is they wouldn't let him do anything fun. So his fun bar was like draining rapidly and he was like he had to be like pissed off cuz he's pretending to be a sim, you know? And uh but so they finally gave him something fun to do. And the, th the fun thing was that they hired clowns to come mess with his house, which refilled his fun bar. But then the clowns like were messing everything up. Like the clowns came in and put like peanut butter on all the door handles and all this kind of stuff. Um, it was amazing. They would never let him do anything fun except, uh, except have clowns come in and mess with him. And there's all kinds of stuff that happens throughout it. Like, I've seen bits that were, like, the highlights, you know? But it's been really great watching the whole thing. And, uh... Uh... What I wanted to say about this in the big picture is that it's genuinely, unbelievably inspiring. Um... I think that Jerma is one of the most realist streamers that we've ever seen. And by that, I mean that he's actually taken streaming seriously as a medium and figured out how to use streaming in a way that is unique to streaming. Like, when you guys come and watch a stream, there are things that make you want to watch a stream over other activities. 
And Jerma is the guy who said, what are the things that we can refine, the unique experiences that you can only get from streaming? And he turned them into something magical. And the dollhouse is one such example of this, where there's just chat interactability, live format, um, the ability to like, um, the ability to modify the the performance as a, in response to previous aspects of the performance in a very um, you know sort of many branches path a uh, many ba branching path. I'm stumbling over my words, but you get what I'm saying. I really do think that the dollhouse stream is is like the like taking a step forward for the streaming world, and it's something that inspires me greatly personally. Um. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Doug Doug and Point Crow have has been doing interesting things with streams. I'm really interested in, if you have specific recommendations, you should email them to me. I'm always looking for more inspiration from streamers who are pushing the medium to its maximum. One of the things that makes streaming magic and one of the things I like so much about streaming is I do love the interactability. You know, I like being able to engage with stream a lot or with my chat a lot. Um, but also there's a there's a spontaneity that's present in streaming um, that is different from most other live format shows, you know? It's one of the reasons why I've always, you know, tried to balance um, doing segments, which is definitely beneficial for growing my channel and ultimately my reach. Um, with being able to do stuff like this, where I take like, you know, two hours out of the stream and just talk about whatever, even though I guess we did do a segment in here still, the point is, you know what I'm saying? A cult of the lamb, cult of the lamb. Do you guys remember the cult of the lamb stream that I did where we allowed people to donate to become a part of the cult? And it became basically its own entire thing where the game was permanently changed by the fact that members of the chat were joining the cult in real time while I was doing a challenge run. And then at the end, we were able to do a giant read off while the credits rolled of all of the people who joined our cult. That was that was something where I felt like I was was using the stream format to its maximal power, not to its maximal power. Not, not even closer, I shouldn't say, sorry, not to its maximal power, but I was reaching in and grabbing the potential of, of streaming. The maximum power of streams, I don't even know how far it goes, okay? I want to see what we can come up with to, uh, uh, to, to, to transform streaming, to maximize streaming as a medium, to do something special that no one else has ever done. I want to do that. I have always wanted to do that. Some of my OG fans will remember that one of my goals with this channel was to set out and do something that changes streaming history. And I still want to do that. And I'm fucking cooking, let me tell you that. Okay? I'm fucking cooking. I've only, uh, Hypno Amber says, I've only been going on streams for about a year now, and the best ones have excellent and supportive chats like this one. Um, I love our chat. My chat is like really we have we have 260 people here right now and chat is incredibly good at balancing like you guys self-regulate very well and that's something I'm very proud of. In my community, chat is very good at balancing being able to converse with one another organically while still being able to contribute to the topic in a way that matters. And not to, you know, flex just a little bit, you know, but I think that part of that is because I am proud of my own ability to be able to balance engagement with chat. Um, we've I, we've sort of talked about the topic of, of engagement with chat recently, um, you know, and I do think that it's that streamers get some streamers can get into disordered relationships with their chats, and I'm happy to say we don't have a disordered relationship here, and I hope that never um, happens. Joey Ravioli says, have you seen Revs, Revs, Rev Sacre Crows, Rev Sacre Crows, Town of Nowhere? He did an interactive story where chat voted on actions for their player character. I haven't seen that, but that sounds amazing. I would love to see that. 